stop. Cause I'm not annoying. Keep going, I said I had the lyrics. <laughs> she is so very fucking annoying. Why you keep stopping? I'm not Cut, even shut up. I Just go in the room. Yet. No. I wish I started the course. No. He's very super fucking annoying. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Bretman Rock and Colourpop Wet and Lit collection. So if you like to see this review, then please keep watching. Hi, I'm Robin Taylor, and here I do makeup tutorials, reviews, and giveaways. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And let's get right into this review. Bretman Rock is my friend in my mind. So the fact that he came out with a collection, I was pressed. I didn't know what to do with myself. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging. Like, do you see this? This is so cute. Yo, you can't even throw the boxes away because they're that pretty. Oh, these are so cute. So this is the wet collection. And then this is the lit collection. This is more of a blue base palette. So this one is called Finished. This one is I'm chilling. This one is LOL, I'm crying. Ooh. This is Skinny Legend. This is a good transition color. This one is Mood. Ooh. This one is Fishy. These shades are really creamy. But this is like an aqua marine green. I know the shade. Judge me. This is Thickums. Yo, this is so creamy. That's the shade I'm using. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> oh Lord Jesus. I am using that shade today. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Got me a little sweaty over here. I got way too excited. And this one is Ewa Beach. And that's a very nice round. This is the wet palette. And then in the lit collection, this is or oh, whatever. And that's a nice, um, it's kind of like a light, dusty orange. This one is, oh, oh, mercy, mercy me. It's like, no. But this is Mercy. That's a very beautiful, like, Christmassy, you know, color. Even, like, it's just a bold color, like, lady in red is dancing with me. Okay. This is Macchiato. And that's a very dark, um, like brownish orange. And this is Cleo Amor, and I think that's named after his niece, which is, that's, that's adorable. She got money. And that's a very nice, like a, almost like an orangey champagne gold, golden color. The next color is Period. And that's this. <laughs> That's this red color right here. This is like, ooh, that's a really nice color. That's a very beautiful deep pink. And then the shade right here is budding or baiting. And this is like a pinkish champagne shimmer shade. So this is the lit collection. The first color that I'm gonna go in, I'm really excited about this shade especially. And I wanna create something super bold. So I am gonna go in with the wet collection. I'm gonna go in with Ewa Beach and use that as a transition shade. I think Ewa Beach is a pretty color, especially for deeper skin tones because it's really hard for us to find like a very nice neutral based eyeshadow that looks good on us. Some of, some of the times it doesn't show up or most times it's too bright so then it looks ashy on our eyelids. Christmas. So that was a very nice transition shade. I'm gonna go into Macchiato in the lit collection and use that to deepen up that color just a little bit. My heart, my heart, my heart, it beats for you. 
I love both of these palettes and the shades in both of these, where I'm not sure whether I should do like a bluish look or a reddish look. Okay, so because I'm of a much deeper complexion, I had to go in with a darker transition shade, but I had to use Ella Beach and Macchiato just to deepen up my transition. Next, I'm gonna go into this color right here and that's I'm Chillin'. And I'm gonna add that to the transition shades and kind of work its way down. Something about this palette is it's powdery and creamy at the same time. And that's working really good with blending. Oh, I'm super proud of him. He really doing his thing up in here. If you guys are not following Bretman, then I don't know what life is, but honestly, his videos are so funny. Not only like his YouTube videos, but his Instagram. Bro, I was dying every time I watch his videos. It's the funniest thing. And because I put that transition shade, the blue blends much nicely with my skin. I used to always be so scared to wear blue because I just thought like I look weird if I wore blue. But blue's in, I mean like, my hair is supposed to be silver, but that joint turned out blue, so you know. But the show must go on and on. Next, I'm gonna try and do like a ombre effect for my eyelids. So, and I'm using the Carity E28 brush and I'm gonna grab Mood and that's this blue right here. I'm gonna add it to the end. Cause it's all right. Why are they making so much noise? I saw people on YouTube and they'll put like one eye red and one eye blue, but I can't do that today because I'm going, it's Mark's birthday and, I, and we're going out. We're going out to dinner for a surprise and I gotta look decent, you feel me? Like I already have this hair. I can't have like different, they're just gonna, they're, they're just gonna be like, what the hell is she doing? So. That's the only reason. The next color I'm going to use is LOL I'm Chillin', which is this color right here. And I really like the ombre look, especially with blue, because it just reminds me of like the ocean and stuff, and like Ariel. You have the power, take that away. Talk to These are one of the creamiest shimmer shades I have ever used in my life. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and that is Thickums. And literally, I'm so excited. Like you can even feel how, look how much product I picked up. This is how much product I picked up with just like four swipes. So let's see how it looks on the eyes. Like I'm not kidding you guys. It's like butter. How the hell he do that? How he do that? Especially for like a, I'm so confused. How he make, so if, if he did this, what's wrong with all the other palettes that are slacking on their shimmer shades? This was so creamy. What y'all doing? All right, let me put my eyeliner on real quick before I preach. <laughs> I am gonna go into the wet collection and grab this I'm Chillin' Blue and kinda smoke my eye out just a little bit. And I really like this LOL I'm Crying shade, so I'm gonna go into that. Kinda add it to the bottom right in the center. So I'm gonna go in with this Thickums Silver Shade and literally this is like my favorite color in this collection. And I'm just gonna put it right here under the eye. Right in the center. And then I'm gonna go in with the 
I'm chilling shade again. And then I'm gonna put some mascara at the, on my bottom lashes. All right, so this is for the eyes. I think this is like the most creative ever I've ever been with blue, but I'm kind of digging it a little bit. The next thing in this collection that I'm gonna review is his liquid lip, and this is in the color Wig. He has like the best names for all of his products. It's hilarious. Okay, so it's only right for me, I look like the 4th of July, but it's only right for me to use the Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise highlighter. Now this is my favorite highlighter and you guys, yo, these motherfuckers. Now this is my favorite highlighter. The reason this is my favorite highlighter is because it looks very, very beautiful on darker skin. And I use it almost every day. I think I bought this like a while ago, literally like a while ago, and I use it almost every day. And like, it's lasting forever. It looks brand new. I'm gonna go in with Mahu and Shady Bitch to highlight. What Bretman needs to do is come out with some a foundation. I love this shade of red. This shade of red looks really good on a dark skin. It'll probably look good on any skin tone, but you know, for darker skin girls, especially it depends on like what, um, that's all right there. Undertone. It depends on what undertone you have, but this is a bluish red, and bluish red almost looks good on everybody, literally like everyone. Um, that's why it low key kind of goes well with this eye. I have never worn a red lip with a blue eyeshadow because I always thought it was a bit dramatic, but it looks really, really nice. Overall, the collection is beautiful. The eyeshadows are super pigmented and they're very creamy, especially that silver shade. That just was like butter glitter, glitter butter, whatever. It was really, really good. I don't think I have anything bad to say about this collection, to be honest. I do support Bretman. I literally get everything that he comes out with only because I like his overall personality and this looks really, really good. This feels so good. I didn't even use a liner. And usually when I'm wearing a red lip, I wear a liner. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a look using the lip palette and I'll do that for you guys. I couldn't do both, so you know why. But I did the blue because I really wanted to try that silver one. So I know Bretman came out with highlighter and he also came out with lip creams and some eyeshadow collections. But comment down below what you guys want to see Bretman do next because I'm curious to see. I want to see some like foundation. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I feel like he's somebody that gets it. He always creates shades and products that go well on both light skin and dark skin. And the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of people come up with highlighters and it's just really ashy. He came up with, eye, uh, with highlighters that go well on dark skin as well, where a palette or most of us darker skin girls could use. Also with these palettes, these eyeshadow palettes, they have very nice pigmented colors as well as beautiful transition colors that darker skin can use. So I honestly wanna see his take on, on foundation. I honestly do. But that is it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the look that I created. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye.